Hi guys, my name is Wayne O'Connor and I'm an artist living in Sligo. Um, for the last 10 years or so, I have been using digital art as my medium of choice. It's the tool which I draw and paint. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. So, what is digital art? Digital art involves creating art using a digital device like a computer or a tablet or even a phone. There are many kinds of digital art now too. There is digital photography, digital animation, digital drawing and painting, and even digital 3D sculpting. To create digital art, you need two things, hardware and software. Hardware is the actual physical device you use to draw with, the computer or tablet or phone. You can use a mouse or even your finger to draw with, but the best tool to use is probably still a stylus. It's the most natural means to draw with, since it it's kind of like using a pen or a pencil. As well as that, you need software. These are programs that allow you to draw, select colors, and create imagery on your computer. There's a lot of these available now. Some you may need to pay for, some are free. There are many digital softwares, but today I'm going to show you some of the basics of using one that's called Autodesk Sketchbook. It's a free software, so you can download it and you can try it out at home. So this is Autodesk Sketchbook and in the middle we have the canvas or the piece of paper on which you're going to draw. And it's surrounded by various other panels and tools you can use to do different effects within the software. But the main one that's of course important for us is the ability to make a mark on this page. So. Over here, we've got various brushes you can use. At the moment, I'm using this one, which has the blue square around it. All you have to do is click on them to select whichever one you'd like to use. But I'm gonna use the ink brush. And when I touch onto the screen, I make a mark, just like you would on a piece of paper. If I wanted to try a different brush, I could, for example, go to this brush and you'll see that it makes a different type of a mark. And there's a whole pile of ones in there that you can you can explore a bit further but I'm going to stick with my brush my ink brush at the moment. So once I'm making marks what else can I do with it? Well maybe I want to resize my brush. I don't like the size well I can go over here and I can touch this this little button over here and it will open up the brush properties and then at this point, again, I can make a mark, but maybe I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I make my line a bit smaller. I can just drag this down and then make a mark. And you can see it's a lot smaller now. And there are other ways to do that, but this is the way we're going to focus on today. Um, of course, the other thing is maybe you don't want it to be red or whatever color you select it. Well, that's where you come up and you go to use the color editor. And that's up here and it's a color wheel. And if there's two, there's a circle on the outside and this kind of diamond shape in the middle. If I touch on this circle here and drag around, you see it changes the color. And if I touch in the middle and drag around inside that diamond, it changes how dark or light that color is. So I'm going to go at a really bright, I'm going to bring it down to a blue. And you can see it previews that and I make my mark and now I'm using blue. So one of the big bonuses of digital art is the ability to edit. So here's a picture that I've drawn before. And when you create a normal picture, all the elements are on one piece of paper or one canvas. But in digital art, even though the final product might look like everything is together, actually the picture is probably made up of a series of things we call layers. And all the elements are separate. Since they're separated, it means we can make changes to individual aspects of our picture without needing to start from the beginning or affect the parts that we're happy with already. So if you look at this picture, I'll just show you. This is one layer on which I've drawn all my color. And then I can slowly begin to reveal how this picture is going to look as we begin to switch on other layers. So here's some gray layers. Now we go up and we add in some color bit more detail on the color, more little touches. So you can see all these different parts are separated. And the layer panel is just over here in the corner. This is it over here. You can see me dragging it around. And you can see this particular picture has up to 30, 40, maybe about 40, 45 uh, individual layers going on. And they all have different parts. 
what that basically means is that if I don't like a part, I can switch it off. So if I don't like those lines, I can get rid of them. Or if I want to change something of just the lines, I can just activate this layer and mess around with this without affecting all the lovely colors that hopefully I'm getting. Okay guys, we're gonna do a little practical little drawing lesson here now. And this one should be simple enough to do if you have, if you have your digital software open. Um, and here we go. This is gonna be all about robots. So, when it comes to drawing robots, there are many different kinds. But today we're gonna to focus on drawing a mech. And a mech is basically a military robot from the future. And before you draw anything, one of the best things to do is to do some research. And it's very easy to find images of robots and mechs online. In fact, there was a film only a few years ago called Pacific Rim that you might have seen. And of course, if you think about big robots, what's one thing that's going to come to mind? The Transformers movies. So they're definitely well worth looking at. But also you can look at just normal robots. There are actually robots in the world today. You can look at mechanical arms and things like that. And that might all give you ideas. And... This can be a great thing to do before you actually start making your drawings because it just fills your head with ideas that will filter into your drawing once you start making it. So we're going to hop back into our software. This is Autodesk Sketchbook and we're going to firstly select our brush. So over here again you'll remember this is our brush panel and for the purposes of this exercise I'm going to recommend that you select the ink brush which makes marks like like this that sort of a mark. I would also suggest that we go with a black to begin with so basically it don't it doesn't matter where the color is on the outside we basically want this inside a diamond over here to be dragged all the way down to the bottom and you'll get black and if you look up here in the top you'll see that that's the color we currently have and then you can test it obviously okay now you again if you make a mistake as we go through this there is a way of fixing it we can hit this little red button up here and that will undo undo and if you go back too far you can hit the green arrow to redo it again okay so we have our brush selected, we have our color sele selected. So there's one more thing and it's a new sort of a thing we're gonna do up here. We're gonna hit this button up here and it's called symmetry. And I'm gonna click that there now, just press on it. And you'll see this line appear down the middle. Now there are some other options up here, but we're not gonna focus on them. We're gonna worry about this one here. So what is symmetry? Well, symmetry is kind of a way of creating a balance in an image because basically I'm going to draw on one side and as you can see, it will basically draw the exact same thing on the other side. And this doesn't work for everything you want to draw, but in the case of robots, they tend to have a kind of symmetrical kind of aspect to them. So it's actually kind of good. And it just creates a kind of sort of a visual balance. Um, so that's us set up. So I'm just going to go back to the start on this one. And then we will start into drawing our mech. So the first thing we're going to focus on when we start drawing our mech is drawing his head. And the mech we're going to draw today is going to be kind of like a humanoid mech. So it'll kind of be like a, a robotic human. Um, so it'll have a head of shoulders, arms and legs. And that's just the design we're doing today. Obviously, you might be able to do other designs later on. But let's just worry with this one first. So we've got a brush selected. So we draw on one side. And the thing about this particular thing is we're not going to worry about the details. Don't worry about eyes and faces. Don't worry so much. Just kind of draw some shapes. And if you like them, keep them. And we can work out later on, we can work out what these actual details are in here. So there I've drawn a sort of a head shape. There's a suggestion of a face. I might come back to that. So imagining now that I'm going down to the chest. Here's a chest sort of area. So if that's the chest, then over here we must have the arms so we're gonna have them coming out as well and again I'm just kind of drawing random shapes here and you can see already with the symmetry it's coming out on the other side and later on when I come back to this I can begin kind of making adding in details we'll come to that shortly so I'm gonna have the hands come down and I'm gonna give them regular sort of hands maybe a couple of fingers here as well obviously if you wanted to you could like maybe draw these as weapons or something as well you know it depends Okay, and now we're coming down. So this is the chest 
and as it comes down it'll narrow in here and that'll become the hips so we're going to draw hips so a good thing to look at if you're if you're wanting to get kind of into this as well is maybe look at some drawings of like human skeletons you probably have in your in your science books or or science books you can get in the library so there we go just drawing the body you can see it's coming along i'm not really worried about the details so around about here we're going to draw in the knees okay and then we're going to draw down here and draw the feet i'm going to give them kind of toes at the front to kind of stick out a little bit and there might be a toe at the back you know and we can you know we can do some kind of marks like that and very quickly you've drawn a mech of some form so uh the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to see this kind of blue bar here we're going to actually drag this down and we're going to lower what we call the opacity of our drawing so it becomes a lot lighter and basically then we're going to hit this plus symbol over here and we're going to create a new layer so remember we're now drawing on a new layer so we're not going to end up affecting this drawing at all we're just going to use this drawing as the basis for drawing a more detailed version of our mech so we go back to the drawing uh, canvas and we start drawing over what we have so far and adding a bit more detail maybe now on our second pass okay so i'm just messing with this so yeah this is where we kind of begin deciding what these shapes might be so i'm thinking some weird sort of parts over in his ear maybe we could do a little antennas sticking up out of here there might be kind of shoulder pad kind of aspects here maybe a neck and you can see very quickly we are so there's a kind of chest area and i'm thinking that these are like plates of metal on the chest and then underneath there there'll be more plates of metal and more plates of metal going down along the body like that and you can see it's beginning to appear now maybe there's some like metal bars here and again we still have the symmetry on so it's still copying on either side if at some point you don't like you want to kind of draw something on this side that doesn't show up on this side all you have to do is knock off your symmetry and you can you know all we do we might draw maybe Maybe there might be a tube sticking out here on one side. And that could be good to do sometimes because it just gives a little bit of variety to it. I'm going to switch on my symmetry again and we're going to start drawing. So I'm thinking these are going to be little bits of armor on his. He's got like, kind of like a like a medieval knight. He has these kind of armor on his shoulders. And then we start doing these down. And we're just using the initial drawing we did as the thing we trace over so you can change the lines you don't have to trace the lines exactly and then we do the hands down here and i'm thinking here that i might switch off this and of course you can do your own ideas here and i'm gonna actually put some sort of maybe he's got like some sort of a blade or something that he has on his arm he's got like a, a weapon on his arm like this that's kind of cool okay really quickly we're just doing some of this very quickly knock it back on okay and then we go down and we do the hips we're going to do these kind of shapes over here and i'm thinking kind of some lines again this is fairly quick i'm doing here now at the same time uh just didn't need to move that now right oh moving this around don't really want to do that okay and then we do the legs down here I'm thinking like muscles I'm kind of drawing bits like I'm thinking like muscles so if you were looking at robots or any sort of machinery you can get ideas for what these joints might look like you know how things link together okay I'm doing a little bit down here very quickly the toes it's really just a matter of drawing kind of different shapes okay so we've got most of them drawn and at this point you could add in some details so I'm not going to knock off the symmetry and I'm going to maybe add on a number over here. This is robot number one, five, two. Um, obviously, you could do this a bit tighter. I'm doing these very quickly in a moment. And there might be uh, some sort of a symbol, like a flag of the army that he's a part of. So I don't know what that is. We'll just do that symbol there. 
and you can go back in and start adding little details like little bits of rust and stuff like that you know maybe there's a light maybe at night he has to see or he has to mark himself out or move some sort of light I'm going to go back up to the face again I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give him kind of a yeah that's kind of cool isn't it and there you go there's a really quick robot and obviously you can go back in again you can do some color so what you could do there is go back over here I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do the color but I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can set it up to do some color you can touch this layer here with your with your cursor and it'll go blue now hit the plus sign and you will actually make a layer appear in between your initial drawing and your detail drawing and now let's for example go up here I'll grab some red and I'm just gonna begin doing some coloring and you can see remember what I said that the the drawings are all separate so I'm not affecting my line drawing I'm just coloring in red and if you make a mistake you can hit the undo or there's even over here there are a razor so you can grab an eraser just click that that's very big right now and you can go back in and rub into it and you can see again with the symmetry you can get all this so very very quickly you can create a robot kind of shape you know I'm just doing this really quickly now so we don't want to go too over too much time now today and I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna pick a slightly darker red and that's gonna be the places where there's shadow so I'm thinking of where the Sun might be coming where the Sun can't get in is where there's gonna be shadow so I'm thinking I might do that I might knock off the symmetry at this point and I'm gonna begin doing some shadow so I'm, I'm imagining the Sun is coming from this side so because the sun is coming from this side then the shadows are going to be there's going to be a lot of shadows on this side of my mech because that's where the sun isn't getting to at the moment do little drawings here all on this sort of side of them again we if we had more time we could um but we're we don't want to do too much we do the blade come down here and again you can put in other little colors maybe a bit of orange here just for variety you know he's kind of in you know the paint is peeled off in places or it's faded in places that might be nice so very quickly you have your mech and I'm thinking I'm gonna grab some white so you're probably wondering how did I just do that just a really quick little tip is you can press a button you can press this little thing over here it's called the color picker and you see it's turned into kind of a little it's changed the symbol and I can go over here and currently I've selected white and I can tap on a color and it automatically changes the color to that, to that one and that can be very handy if you're moving around and you want to take samples of your color as you go um, but that is pretty much our robot pretty cool now I hope you enjoyed that um, uh, thanks for watching uh, in the meantime stay safe and stay well and uh, we'll talk to you soon take care bye bye